Hello there. In this video, we're going to use logarithm rules to rewrite these expressions in a fully expanded form. I'm going to go through them slowly using just one logarithm property at a time. So on this first one, I got this whole thing here. I'm just going to view it as um, some numerator over some denominator. And when you're dividing those, that will be the difference of the logarithms. Now this part here, I got some number here a times some other number here b cubed, so I can expand that out to the sum of the logarithms. And now this uh, log b cubed, uh, really that's b times b times b, so I got three of them, or you could think you just pull the three out in front. And there we go, log a plus three log b minus log c. Yeah, notice that is numerator plus three times that one minus what was there in the denominator. All right, next problem. Uh, I'm still going to view this as numerator over denominator. I have a couple options for the next kind of step that I want to do. Um, let's separate out all the letters apart from each other. So that's logarithm of a product. But remember, I'm subtracting, so it's going to be minus that whole thing there. And then uh, we can deal with the exponents. And then finally, distribute that negative sign across the parentheses. And there we go on that one. So one of the key things on this one is making sure that you get both of those to be minus, because they were both in the denominator there to begin with. Okay, um, actually in this one, this might be more straightforward. You don't have to deal with any denominators. So I'll just separate all those parts there. Could do this in multiple steps, but if there's a... There were two things, remember it separates into two, three things, it's actually going to separate into three. And then we can pull those um, exponents out in front, because remember that's b times b, and that's c times c times c. Voila! A little bit shorter. Okay. Um, last one. So uh, there, there is a way to just take the reciprocal of this thing. Um, you could also uh, do it a little bit longer. Uh, I'll do it a little bit longer here. So long version is we would view this as the logarithm of 1 minus the log of b squared. And the logarithm of 1, remember, is 0. That's going to be 0 minus 2 log b. So that's just going to be negative 2 log b. And the slightly faster way to view this one is that it's a reciprocal. So it's going to be um, negative, whatever was in there in the bottom, negative log b squared. So negative 2 log b is just another way to, to do it. All right, thanks for watching. Character and Scholarship for Life.